Hello guys, welcome to Hankins Custom Rifles, another episode of Hanks TV. Today's December the 17th, it's Sunday afternoon, it is the last day of the Kentucky muzzleloading deer season, and it'll be the first time that I've been able to get out of the shop and go hunting for a little bit. It's um, 3.30 in the afternoon, we'll be over at the range here in about 10 minutes, and that's where we're going to set up and deer hunt a little bit tonight. Hopefully something will come out and we'll shoot a deer on video i'm gonna be hunting with cyclops this afternoon and um just thought i'd fill you guys in there's a deer out over there in the field so at least they're out that looks like a pretty good one but anyway um we get all set up i'll get back with you guys and there might be deer out in the field when we get down there so we'll be back shortly Okay guys, it's 10 minutes to four. We're all set up. Um, we're just gonna sit here, see what comes out. Now I loaded my gun back in September during the early muzzleloader season, and it's been loaded since then. It's been in and out of the house. It's been in the garage. It's been in the back of the truck. It got rained on one day. Um, it's just been wherever I've been, so we're gonna see what happens if we get a shot tonight. I'm gonna to shoot that deer. And if I don't get a shot, I'm just gonna leave it loaded until uh, the polar bear shoot coming up here in February. So right now the gun has been loaded for I guess about three months. Let's see, September, October, November, December. Yeah, about three months probably. And um, we'll see what happens if we get a shot tonight. So stay tuned and if we see anything We'll, get, we'll try to get it on camera for you. Well, guys, we've got a big tom turkey out down there at 354 yards. In closing, he's coming right straight towards us. Moving pretty quick. Bills after come springtime. <clears throat> we ain't seen any deer yet though, but it's only about maybe 4.30. My battery went dead on the phone, so I don't know what time it is for sure. But uh, we're just going to sit here till dark. Two of them. They're 300 yards. That'd be an easy shot. And I'm going to go ahead and take one, fellas. Because I'd like to have some more meat on the table. I'm going to be a little patient because there's another one that just came out. And um, I'd like to kill a big buck, but a dove will suffice. That's a big doe. I'll go ahead and shoot that big dog. As soon as she gives me a good shot, I'm going to take her. There it goes, fellas. Just a minute.
And she was kind of quartering away from me, 300 yards, maybe about 325 by the time I shot her. And uh, she dropped like a hammer there. That rangefinder says 335 yards. I think I'll load up again, and if those two stay out down there, I'm gonna shoot another one. Cause I'd like to uh, put some meat in the freezer. So give me a minute, fellas, and we're gonna load this gun. He didn't have any problem with the gun going off. Fellas, we're reloaded. I'll put another primer module on. I'm going to look down there and see what we got. They don't seem to be going anywhere. There's two for two, fellas. I could go ahead and shoot the third one, but yeah, I think I will. Let me get another bullet. She's gone. She ran up the hill. Yeah, she might come back. Time to get loaded.
Okay, guys, we're loaded again. Maybe you'll come back out. We'll sit here a few minutes. See her up on the hill. She's just standing there. Yeah, you see her. About 250 yards. Do you see her in the camera? All I can see is her tail. Do have a shot? Are you on her? Yeah, I'm on her. Okay, guys, there's three for three. I think we got enough for tonight. We're gonna go ahead and get them on the trailer. When we get down there to them, I'll show you what they look like. Okay guys, for all of y'all that don't know what gun I'm shooting here, that's a gun that I nicknamed Cyclops. It's a muzzle loader, shoots a 350 grain Pittman Acumax at 3,800 feet per second. And um, it's pretty deadly accurate. And um, I had to walk over to the box twice to get bullets. So I was really only planning on shooting one deer tonight. But it is the last day of deer season and I don't have meat in the freezer yet. So it was time to uh, shoot some deer. And they came out early enough where we'll be able to get them and load them up on the trailer before it gets dark. And uh, everything worked out in our favor tonight. So we sat down here many a nights during gun season and they just didn't want to cooperate. And we only, we wound up shooting one deer, but we hunted a lot of days to get it done. And um, we're going to go down there and get these loaded on the trailer. Be back shortly. Well, guys, we're just going to drive down there and throw them in the trailer. I'll take them home and hang them up with the tractor gut them at the house with running water and heat inside the shop. But uh, definitely got me a couple good eating does. One shot, one kill. Dropped them like a hammer.
think I'm gonna turn around first and then put him on the trailer. Did you see the one that was on the hill? Yeah. So you see the sign there? Yeah, I think that was Mama and two babies. I think those two are her fawns. I hope none of them are button bucks, but I don't think so. This one ain't. That's a big doe there. The other one, she's laying over here. She was about probably 30 yards up that hill when I shot her and she just fell all the way to the bottom. Made it pretty easy. Won't have to track her. There ain't much tracking when you shoot them with Cyclops, that's for sure. It went all the way through. You need help with her, you got it. Ah, uh, let me see what I can do here. Been down in my hips here the last couple days, fellas. I'm kind of hurting a little bit today. Moving kind of slow. Old Russell, he knows what it's like to be down in the hip. I'll probably be getting me a new one before too long. Now that bullet there, I don't think went all the way through. Where'd you shoot her at? I shot her right here. That's the entrance hole right behind that front leg, and it was angled this way. So that bullet's lodged up in her neck or something. This was the last day of deer season, fellas, and I guess we we finished it out pretty good. We got one more to load. I'm gonna pull the truck up so I don't have to drag the deer so far. That uh, tree right there, guys, that's where she was standing when I shot her. And it's about 20 yards up the hill. I shot her and she just crumbled and slid all the way down the hill here. She's laying right at the bottom for us be pretty easy to get that one and that's another little deer but uh, be some good eating oh yeah I hit her in the neck that's all I had to shoot at really <clears throat> yeah she didn't know what hit her but uh, that's all I could see when I shot her was her head sticking out from behind that tree. So, didn't ruin much meat. Let me go ahead and get her throwed up on the trailer.
It's hard to bend over, guys, when your hip hurts. Well, we got them loaded up, fellas. I'm going to the house. I'm going to gut them and clean them and do all that stuff until the next time. I want to thank you for watching the YouTube video. Subscribe to the channel. Give me a thumbs up. And until next time, y'all take care and we'll see you.